Rush just came into the circle and started punching. To spectators, it may have just looked like goon hockey, a bench brawl with players and coaches all in the melee. Now, evidence of how it may have started, an alleged derogatory comment by an Acadia player. In the comment, the word rapist was used. So, uh, to a, um, uh, a victim of sexual assault, uh, you know, I mean, obviously that has a tremendous amount of impact and we don't take that comment uh, lightly at all. This is ugly. The allegation is that the comment was alluding to the survivor of a sexual assault who we can't identify but who is not a player on the team. In a statement today, Acadia says its player has since apologized for a comment that, in the university's words, was not made deliberately. But St. of X player Sam Stavnika says the on-ice taunting has been happening for years. In a statement earlier this week, he said, It has taken an emotional toll on me. There is no place for such comments within our society. Stadnika says his teammates were just sticking up for him. In our process, it's important that we hear both sides of, uh, of the issue. When it was done, 15 players, nine from St. of X and six from Acadia, along with both head coaches, received hockey suspensions for the brawl. But now there are questions about why AUS and the universities involved didn't do more to address the similar festering allegations from two years ago. Acadia insists it did. Others wonder if a longtime staple of Canadian hockey culture, chirping, has simply gone too far. Potentially, uh, you know, this, this is related to a cultural issue and uh, uh, not acceptable in the university environment. A secondary review is coming and possibly more sanctions, which could include expulsion of players and coaches from the hockey programs. Tonight, Acadia was back in action, albeit with a reduced roster and university hockey with a black eye. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.